not come back yesterday like I said I would today's Wednesday I had so much to do yesterday and I got everything on my to-do list accomplished my to-do list not list accomplished so I'm very proud of myself I had to go drop off my Amazon returns and go to Belk to pick up a pickup order um and actually I while shopping in Belk was waiting to be checked out um and they were social you know everyone's social distancing so while I was checking out I was bored and I was just you know how like they have like the little um fill this out and you could be entered in a drawing to win so I filled out three one for me my grandma and my mother and girl I won so they called me to tell me that I had won and that it would they would just add it to my pickup order bag to make it simpler and I was like oh bet so it was a you won a prize from Clinique now I'm not one for most skincare people and companies I have very sensitive skin so most things just don't work for me um but the Clinique products that they gave me that I purchased I purchased the fragrance the Clinique Happy Heart perfume a full-size bottle and so once you purchase a certain amount of once you spent a certain amount of money you received um free products so they gave me like a little makeup kit it came with eyeshadow an eyeliner a lipstick and a moisturizer like a, tra uh, a travel size moisturizer so i put all those things and it came in a little carrying case so i packaged all that up and i put it in the carrying case to put into my grandmother's um birthday gift so her birthday is today's wednesday her birthday is friday so i have like a bunch of things that i have put together for her i think i should show you huh maybe while no one's here so her birthday's coming up she's gonna be 75 years old honey what a beautiful number like seven and five those are literally some of the best numbers in numerology and i'm just so happy for her y'all know we breaking generational curses and things so my grandmother's not a person that is good at receiving and accepting help aid or emotional love so I'm expecting her to kind of reject a lot of the things that I'm doing for her birthday and that I'm giving her for her birthday but we gonna do it anyway because I'm a giver and I'm a lover and ain't nobody ever died from too much love so Piriana so this is what I'm working on I'm gonna show you bear with me she's at work my grandma's at work right now so yesterday after i went to drop off my amazon packages and pick up my order from belk i ran around town to get her birthday gift i didn't have a lot of money that i could put towards it so i wanted it to be as budget friendly as possible not to mention if i spend too much money she's gonna say hell no and she's gonna make me take it back to the store so i had to do it on a budget so i went to big lots the dollar store and um the grocery store so what we're gonna do so this is the damage that i did i have to hide it all because my grandma's pretty nosy and i didn't want her to see what i got first thing that i did i made this floral arrangement so i went to the dollar store and i picked up some faux flowers and i just kind of made a quick floral arrangement for her i got some yellows some pinks yellow is her favorite color um and pinks and purples for royalty and love and it's just really coming together kind of nicely i can't do too much with it right now because here's my dilemma the pot i got this vase for the flowers it's really cute oops my fingers in front of the camera it's really cute pressure it's a really cute vase it's like a mauvey uh, sea green blue with tan 
and some striations. It's real cute. This is not sticking like I wanted it to. I need some more weight. So I'm gonna put the the flowers inside the pot, obviously. And I got some dirt that literally I forgot to get a a floral sponge. So I literally went outside and dug dirt and so that I could fill the bottom of the um of the vase for breakfast for breakfast i got her a little bottle of prosecco my grandma doesn't drink so i just got a small bottle because i'm like you can have this you know champagne for breakfast i also for us for breakfast i love these freaking things these are mug cakes by duck and heinz i got these from the grocery store so i got her a lemon one which she loves lemon cake and i got her I got her confetti so they come with the frosting and all you have to do is empty the packet into a mug and they tell you exactly what to put it on how much water to add they give you the icing and then boom you got a cake in a mug and it's pretty damn cool so we're gonna have those for breakfast with her little champagne so I got her the cutesy stuff. I got her a little ribbon that says birthday girl from the dollar store that she can wear as well as a little tiara. So cute. I got some napkins. I wanted to get gold, but these are the only ones that had a matching set. The gold plate looked brown and the napkins looked too gold, like fake gold. So I just got this one that said happy birthday so we could eat the cakes and other little things on that during the day and i got her this placard that i've had before um it's a wall mural that says happy birthday so i'm gonna hang this up late at night the night before her birthday i'm looking over my shoulder y'all because i'm expecting her to pull up any moment so i'm trying to be discreet the next things that i got were these cute bags this one says make a wish with a little piece of cake on it confetti cake so that's ironic because we're gonna be eating confetti cake for breakfast and this one says celebrate with these little hats on it so cute inside of this bag is the clinique um makeup bag that they gave me it's a super cute little travel pouch and inside it comes with the Clinique Smart Clinical Resculpt. Hold on. Resculpt cream. So this is the moisturizer, multidimensional age transformer. It comes with an eyeshadow duo, which this one is strawberry fudge. The lipstick is called. Ooh, hold on. The lipstick is called Plum Pop. looks like that so cute i think she'll love that um she saw this stuff yesterday she saw this stuff yesterday when i got it from the store this is a brown eyeliner they gave her a quick liner for eyes and tints and a black mascara so i packaged all this up real cute in the in the little travel bag so that's that i got her now y'all don't judge my grandma but she these are blunt sprays and she puts them as burning oils in the little wax warmer that she has so she asked me last week to go get her some more so i was like okay cool i'm gonna go get some and i got her cocoa mango and smell good so she loves these things i also got her real wax warmers i got her lavender and um sugared lemon she likes lemon scent and lavender is really good for relaxation so i got that for her wax warmer as well keeping with the lavender i got her this little kit from big lots so it helps you grow lavender it is a complete grow kit it contains everything you need to grow the pot the seed packet grow mix and instructions on how to grow lavender and look at the little pot it's so cute like a little toppy gray color and you just literally have everything you need to grow lavender so when i saw that one i couldn't go without getting another one and i got aloe so aloe is really good easy to grow i didn't want to get her anything that she would really have to take too much care of but look at this pot it's cute like a little textured black pot i was like yes this is a vibe so that's what's in this box i mean this bag blunt sprays 
Y'all, I don't know who put... I think my mother, act, like, left some blunt spray, and then my grandma just thought it was burning oil. And, girl, she been using it ever since. So I ain't want to break her little heart. So I just... I was like, okay, girl, mama get you some. She calls it burning oils. I said... When I got to where she told me she bought it from, I was like, girl, this is a smoke shop. <laughs> but, all right. In this bag that says, make a wish, I got her a leg pillow. Well, first, I got her a mirror, because the mirror she had, I broke it. <laughs> accidentally so i got her pink mirror um i got her this i saw this at the store and i thought this was so cool a perfect leg pillow so i sleep with a pillow in between my legs because i have a lower back ish um injury from well i've had two lower back injury from years ago so i use this so i was like oh bet she could definitely use this and it comes with a washable cover and everything it was only ten dollars so I got her one of those and then the rest of this bag is all the cards that I got her so I got about seven to eight cards I got one from my cat one from my dog um a few from me and my mother just to you know variety and I'm just gonna give these to my mother to sign because I know she didn't get any cards but um I thought that was really cute and yeah so that's what I've gotten for her so far I wanted to keep it small because I knew she wasn't gonna want too much fuss my grandma is a very proud southern woman honey and she will be like i don't want all that and i don't want all that blah, 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 blah. so hold on oh yeah i have everything hidden in my room because my grandma's kind of nosy and i didn't want her to accidentally find anything beforehand um i didn't even spend a hundred dollars on everything total including the bags, the food, like everything total, I didn't even spend a hundred dollars. So she can't complain. She can't complain. So she'll probably, if you've ever met my grandmother, she still will complain, but she's not gonna complain for the reasons that whatever. She gonna complain for good reasons, not bad reasons. So I don't know if I told y'all, but I've been practicing my Spanish lately. I learned Spanish in high school, but I failed. I didn't, did I fail it? Yeah, girl, I think I failed that class. That was the only class I ever failed in high school, period. And I failed Spanish. And so when I went to college, I did French. I was like, fuck Spanish. I'm never talking that shit again. I'm going to French. And I did French for all four years of my college career. And the problem after that was I moved to California to Los Angeles to be specific and everyone in LA speaks Spanish everything in LA is Spanish LA is Spanish so I learned street Spanish in the very first year that I went to LA and then I picked up some forms of proper Spanish just living in the city um but girl I had stop Now my cat is acting crazy. Have you ever just been doing something and then like your pet do some random shit that they've never done before and you're like, what the fuck? Like, you've never done that before. Girl, sometimes my my, my kids, I call them my kids, I have a pedal y un gato. So sometimes they be tripping. But the, um, what was I saying? Oh, I've had Duolingo, the app before. And I did a little bit of French on it, trying to refresh my French. But then I was like in LA. So I was like, mm, let me just try Spanish. And I did a little bit of Spanish. Now I've redownloaded it and I had to, you know how like you can never figure out your password. So I was like, forget it. I'm just going to start a whole new one. I couldn't figure out my password to my old account. So I downloaded the app and I did a whole new account. So starting over fresh in Spanish. And this time around, y'all, my numbers have been so high. Like I do it every single day for at least 20 i do i started out 15 minutes but now i've been doing 20 minutes just because i enjoy it it's just learning and speaking a different language and it's fun and interactive the app itself so my spanish is um <laughs> muy benito okay like we out here popping so that's been fun what else has been going on Mm, I just been researching real estate and wholesaling and financial wealth. The same, same, same old, same old. It's so hard right now with, oh my bad. It's so hard right now with like the state of the world. Um, 
our random, I don't know about y'all, but our internet went out for like two or three days last week. And then because of that, it put a strain on the cell tower. So I barely had service all last week and the beginning of this week. And we just really got back service today. Um, for real, for real. So I don't know. And I've seen other people say the same thing. Like, you know, the cell service has been weird. The internet has been weird. People saying like iPhone videos have not been playing sound on Instagram, which has happened to me. Now, I thought it was because, well, like I said, our cell service and our internet was weird. But for real, for real, it's been iPhone and Apple and freaking Instagram. So, girl, that's been something. It's Black History Month. We are popping. Happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Year. Happy Black History. Happy Black. Okay. Um, I'm just happy to be black every day. It's a beautiful day. I got into a fight with the city, my grandma's city, because for some strange reason, they don't have a basic recycling program. And honey, I don't play about the environment. You got the wrong one. I was out there with the um, the freaking recycling people. He was like, the guy, like after all the conversation we had, he was just telling me how they don't accept cardboard. And I was like, how the fuck, girl, I went off. How you don't accept cardboard? He's like, well, it's corrugated cardboard. All cardboard is based on corrugated cardboard. Like, corrugated cardboard corrugated cardboard is just based on cardboard. So I'm like, you don't recycle cardboard. Cardboard is the only thing that you can actually recycle. Plastic cannot be recycled. How can you accept plastic bottles but not cardboard? Girl, I went off, called the city, and I wrote them a little nasty letter. Because I'm like, what kind of basic... I was like, I know you don't have good health care. I know you don't have basic services. But... The fact that you don't even have recycling programs, but you're trying to entice people to move here. Why would anybody want to move here? It's potholes on every street and then you don't even recycle. Raggedy. Girl, I went off. Went off. Did a whole podcast episode about it. So check out my podcast, Moo Moo, Mutable and Multifaceted. We have new episodes every Monday. So yeah, the link will be in the description box below. I'm about to work out. I started my day a little late today because... I did so much yesterday and I was a little tired. I wanted to sleep in, but I got all the stuff that I needed to do yesterday. So that's why I wanted to like chill this morning. So I'm, I got up and then I had to do all that with the city. Literally got up because I, and I heard the truck, the recycling truck outside. They all having, girl, they outside my house having a meeting about not picking up this cardboard. Girl, I went off, ran, put a sweater on, ran outside what the hell is going on <laughs> i need to speak to the manager girl i should have had my hair cut right because i i need to speak to the manager i'm pulling a karen so what the fuck how do you not take cardboard but you take plastic bottles that don't you know plastic bottles don't break down right like people certain cities have recycling programs that accept plastic bottles but you cannot recycle a plastic bottle you literally have to repurpose it reuse it as something else but you cannot recycle a plastic bottle it just sits in the landfill they take it from your house but they take it to the landfill where it continues to live for years and years and years because they don't break down stop playing with me i was like okay girl damn near called the mayor because my grandma lives in such a small town that i know the fucking mayor girl stop playing with me i was i was hot this morning i had to go I had to go calm myself down. I, I literally filmed the podcast video because I had so much to say about it and I didn't want to lose all my train of thought, you know? So, yeah. <sighs> I'm about to get my workout in, calm down, have my coffee. That was how, why they messed up. Because I had my coffee and then after my coffee, I drink a little bit more water and then I work out. But they caught me as I was drinking my coffee. Girl, I mm, it was a wrap. I was charged up and ready to go. And I tore that that microphone up, girl. Tore it up. So check out my podcast, Me We Were Multifaceted. New episodes every Monday. But yeah, I'm about to get my workout in. I um, whew, I'm feeling better. Like I don't know about y'all, but this the Leo new moon and everything really kind of put things in perspective for me. I felt like a lot of people kept saying that. February was the new year and I really felt that I don't know what happened on February 1st I felt charged up I felt I felt excited I felt spirited I felt new I felt love I felt calm grounded like I knew what was going on and so 
happy new year <laughs> happy new black year so that's what we're doing with i don't know what i'm about to listen to today but because of my spanish influence i i naturally listen to spanish music especially spanish trap music i think it's really really cool really good but i also love girl i'm talking about absolutely love spanish r&b honey if you have spotify it's a spot it's a playlist on spotify called las vibras and it's literally spanish r&b and like kind of soul if you will and girl you know spanish is a love language so honey when they be singing about love and whew, mm, make you want make you want to call somebody make you want to be like hello i've been missing you <laughs> so yeah that's what we're doing today um the only other thing that i have planned for today is i'll probably um clean out my grandma's bathroom each week i pick a place in the house a section of the house and i reorganize it deep clean it reorganize it and kind of declutter it for sure for her um my grandma is like i said she about to be 75 so she got a lot of stuff in this house my grandma has three kids now they're all grown obviously they're all in their 50s and 60s but there's a lot of stuff in this house um so I keep calling my grandma a hoarder, but it's because I watch hoarders. So she's not really a hoarder, but she hoards. So there's things in here that I'm like, why do you still have this? Like, what, what, what you need this for, grandma, abuela? Okay. I don't get it. And then my cat, my daughter, she pops up today with a, with like a, a bruise on her, behind her ear. Girl, I called the vet so damn fast and the vet was like, we're not taking appointments right now. You just bring her in and, you know, we 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 take her. They say you pull up, you come in at, by yourself, sign in, and then you go back to your car to wait. Then they come out, get your pet, take them back inside the vet, do the check, and then bring the pet back out to you. So, honey, I must have to write a letter or record a video message or something to send to the vet. How you know what my questions are? Yeah, girl. So, I had to let them know. I ain't the one. It's too early. I'm fully charged on coffee. And I'm politically correct and environmentally conscious and friendly. You don't want smoke. But, all right. I'm going to head to my workout. I think I filmed a couple clips. I don't know if I'm going to put it in this video or another video, but... I do 30 minutes of cardio on my mini stepper and then I do 15 um, isolations. So I do fire hydrants, donkey kicks, push-ups, um, what's it called when you lift your hip thrusts, mountain climbers, and bicycles, cross body bicycles. So we're getting right, honey, and I'm already seeing results. So get you a sweat in and we'll holler at you later. Oh, this is my head. The dish all right, but them strip, I don't like the head. Them head too big or something, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't like that head. 